What if you want TypeScript to ensure that a string is actually an email? I think a lot of people has had this thought, but it doesn't come naturally how to do it. So I'm creating this video to show you how to do it. So as you can see, I'm using SOD here and SOD is great for runtime checking that a certain string is an email. So I'm setting up this email schema here of an email. And it's not hard because SOD is, has great compatibility with TypeScript that you can get the type out of SOD. And I will show you how to do that. So type email would be equal to SOD.infer type of email. So now if we hover email, we see that email is actually a string and that is correct but that doesn't take us all the way because typescript works with primitives like number and string there's no built-in thing in typescript that is an email so we have to create our type of email and so doesn't just return a weird type that checks for email it just returns this infer type is a string so where to go from here well we have to create our own type checker for what an email looks like and I can show you how to do that so if we create a function that is called is email takes a string and returns string is email then this function should return a boolean telling typescript if this string is actually of type email but we still have the issue of type email not being type email, it's actually type string. So we need to extend this type and I will extend it with another property and I will call it kind email. And we'll get back to what this is actually doing. Uh, but let's continue now. So let's say that we have a function, call it send email. It takes an email of type email. We don't have to uh, write this function. We're just, we're just using it to try to call it and see if TypeScript will be happy or sad with us calling this. So let's set up an email. Const e is, we can do daniel at bark.com. So now if I call send email with e, We'll see that TypeScript is not happy because E is of type string. But what if I make a check? So if is email E, then I do send mail. So if we use our function that returns string is email, we're effectively teaching TypeScript how to check if a string is of type email. So then it's happy with us passing E if we do this check first. But now let's fix this return true here. So we already have the schema from SOD, so this is very simple. We can just return email.safeparse, pass in the string, and success. So what's going on with this extending kind email thing? Well, we have to tell TypeScript that this type is a more complex or more narrow type than just a string. Because if it's just a string, we're telling TypeScript that this is email function returning true just means string is a string and that doesn't work. So it just needs to be some kind of more complex type or more narrow type. So this could actually be called anything. Doesn't have to be kind, doesn't have to be type, doesn't have to be anything like that. But kind is more des descriptive, so I'll stick with that. Uh, and the benefit of this is that we can start to pass around this email to other functions. And then we can see whether it's an unverified email type or if it has type email. We know that, oh, this, uh, this variable has been through the is email function and that's the only way it can be typed as an email. So then as it gets passed around through the code, we can ensure that it's a valid email and we don't have to inside the send email function 
uh, revalidate it again. So we can keep track of if it's been validated as an email or not. And this, this could be valuable for other primitive types as well. So let's say that we have age, for example. Age cannot be any value and you usually use integers, not floating point values for age. Let's try another example here. All right, so here we have age. It should be an int. It should be between zero and 150. And we have the exact same syntax. So if we want to use this variable for age or stored in a database, we don't want to store it maybe if it's a negative value or if it's a million. If it has the type of age, we know that it's a reasonable age. So that's all I wanted to share. Hope this pattern can help you someday and if you learned something then like the video, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!